we back in the building, man. Myself, Mutz, we back in the building. Long time off in that. But we back, man. From that podcast to this podcast, that's where we at now. And that's what we're going to stay on. Because a lot of shit has happened. But a lot of shit is in the past. A lot of stuff has changed over the time that man's been off. Obviously, if you check the last episode of what we dropped long time back I just, yeah actually you know what that was the last episode was on my channel wasn't it I wanna um, I wanna just quickly say uh, rest in peace Mortimer M7 that was the last episode we dropped on my other podcast um, before man stopped so obviously time moves on but we don't forget so rest in peace Mortimer M7 man you get me um, this platform here this is listen some things change some stuff stays the same innit but this is like, this is different. Yeah, I can't lie. This whole format, this whole layout, everything's different for man. This whole thing is going to be different. The whole whole plan that man's got for this. But yeah, man, man's here to talk to you people. Like I said, certain things change, certain things stay the same. And the things that did stay the same is I want to big up my brothers. Man like Kellel Bobby, UK, hit that up because... We still in association, baby, you get me? Man like Kellel Bobby, big up my brother Kevin, man. And... Um, Big up No Cap Juice as well, man. Shout out No Cap. I want to shout out for the case of these and that. I can't lie, they're going down the tree. And shout out Crep's Corner, man. The new thing. Shout out Crep's Corner. Go hit them up, Instagram, all of that, and see what they're about. Um, yeah, man, let's move on anyway. Boom, this thing's going to be a little bit different from the last time. See, last time we were sitting down with people and, and, and we're doing like every every episode we're sitting down with someone and like, um, like a guest. <clears throat> stuff like that but now nah, man this one here see what man's gonna do i'm just here to talk to you but i'm gonna talk to you people and here and there man's got another location we're gonna be at and you'll see that in a couple of episodes we've got a couple of people coming down to sit down and all them thing there it's mad i'm telling you just just stay locked and you man are gonna see a mazza i'm telling you um they got most salary as well how did i shout out the sponsors and not big up the real brother you get me the guy cuts Mo Salah. but yeah a lot of stuff has changed man a lot of stuff has changed a lot of stuff stay the same the stuff that has what's been happening like boy because it's been a long time since the last podcast um obviously a couple of the sponsors are the same covid happened lockdown happened um what else has happened man you know what a lot has happened here we'll go over stuff that's happened in the coming episode like what has been going on in my past and everything and what man's been really you get me had been going on and that but um bobby bill muslim <laughs> but, <laughs> that's that's what changed. Bobby Bill, shout out Ian Bill. No, don't shout out Ian Bill. Shout out Bobby Bill, his son. Because Bobby Bill was a Muslim now. Imagine Big that, bro. Big Bobby. Big Bobby. Hey, he's a Muslim now. Hey, it's mad, cuz. I'm telling you. Um, hey, Bobby went from catching M's to being a Muslim, bro. He, he, <laughs> man, man went and murdered his own sister, bro. And, and came out a Muslim. But yeah, shout out Bobby Bill. Nah. But listen, yeah, obviously, listen, musically, what's been going on? Um, my eye's been on a few artists in a sense of, like, what they've been dropping and all them things because, um, obviously, you've got your, you got your artists who, are, who who have recently, like, who, what's the brother's name? Ard, Ardy. He, obviously, he's been dropping. You've got, um, you still got your H's and all them, the Dave's and everyone who's popping. But you know what? I can't lie. Consistency throughout this whole lockdown is what I was keeping my eye on and what I was trying to look at. Um, couple artists who have just kept it consistent and the levels have just been high. I can't lie. Um, shout out Morrison. Shout out, what's the brother's name? Central C. Shout out RA. I've been watching all these guys and the levels are just, just you get me? It's mad, the whole the whole music game in the UK is just elevated right now because of these type of rappers there, bruv. Look at um man coming through. What's the youngest name that... um French. French kid. French kid. French the kid. That guy, bro. Cold. All of these band there. Bro, I'm seeing enough talent coming through. Um, and obviously, you know what it is? With people like Morrison, he don't he, 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 he might not drop like 100 tracks like a month or whatever, every, every year or whatever, but his, every time he drops a track, that one track is a banger from end to end. And it's like, you get me? That same rhythm ain't going to last a week, how everything else does in this day and age. It's going to last a month. So that's what I'm saying. These type of rappers there, and R.A., bro, he's been consistent, drop, drop, drop. And just before we just dropped this episode... Uh, Bro, I just listened to his um, Daily Duppy and it's out of this world, bro. Like, first artist, I think, I'm not too sure, I might be wrong, but the first artist to use um, Grime on um, 
on a daily duppy like that's mad bro that's out of this world you get me but he go listen to that tap into that on grm it's crazy isn't it but yeah um a couple other rappers that i want to mention that like, man just heard of the other day as well this hazy you, you need to hear about him bro he's making noise like i uh, just one track i've heard i haven't heard anything else of him bro i gotta get these packs and potions yeah <laughs> No piece to the put a sim in a burner. I bro, it's crazy. It's crazy. But I wanna see what else he's got to come because bro, if he's if he's if he comes consistent with the wave and that it's gonna be mad. You get me? It's gonna Sign. be mad. Yeah, he might bro. It's he's mad. Looking like a little yeah. looking like a little Bobby Bill on that. <laughs> nah but yeah, big up um hazy. Um consistency levels, yeah man. So that's what I was in this whole lockdown, because I'll I'll be real on my music thing, yeah. My journey's been all over the place, but I'm going to talk about that in an upcoming like episode in the future. Um, but mine, yeah, it's all been all over the place. But I'm looking at certain artists, I'm like, yo, even even certain looting artists, like, bro, they, they've kept it consistent. Do you know what I mean? They've kept it good, and I'm, I'm liking the levels. Um, Frenzo, like, obviously, out of the Pakistani rappers, I can't lie, his, his like, level of um, wave is mad. Because when he drops, it makes noise. You get me? And and I've watched his whole journey from the beginning and it's all been pure, bro. In a sense of, it's all been, um, like, independent, man. My man just started a YouTube and just started, you get me? All of that, bro. Like, And, and now man's just drop a track to, today and next week he'll have a million, over a million hits. Like, he, he's that popping. Um, and his consistency, his videos are out of this world, all of that stuff, man. So big up friends or Harami, man. It's my guy. You get me? Um, I'm hearing something. Hey, did you hear about that, that J5 guy? That fucking, I think he's a producer, in it or something? But I'm hearing this stuff about J Huss album, bro. Do you know how long man has been waiting for a fucking J Huss something? Like, bro, this guy, one of the... Same. Yeah, yeah, something about like some tweet and stuff back 15, and forth. He said fifteen. He's cold. He's cold. Like, come on, bro. He's one of the best in the UK. He's one of the best, and his his bodies are work. I just mad, mad. Like, so obviously, I'm waiting on that. I want to see what happens with that. If you don't drop an album, just drop some music, bro, man. Man, just want to hear that music. You get me? Um, what's the other brother's name for Manny? Um, don't drop a lot of tracks, but every time he drops, it hits. Meeks Manny. Meeks Manny, bro. Every time he drops something, it hits. Like, from the visuals to the... Bro, I'm telling you, that guy is an OG. Like, um, yeah, again, he don't drop a lot. But I don't knock these people for who don't drop a lot because drop whenever you want, man. As long as that music... Because I'll be real. I, I still bang. I don't I don't, I don't. don't see it like... Um, oh, the, the track's old. So you can't... Bro, so who cares, bro? So, that's a good thing if it's an old track and you're still banging it because the, the music's timeless, isn't it? And that's what I feel like. <clears throat> what's the brother's name um french the kid oh. and, and and meeks manny and these man they're giving like i think it's good good solid mute morrison friends or like the solid music still man so big up them man innit um obviously listen on this platform man's gonna not just be going over music in it it's gonna be more than just like just just music music's gonna be a certain percent of it but i want to go over like certain things that man's interested in as well and if you man are interested in it tap in in it the like button's there the comments are there we're going to be replying i'm going to be going back and forth with you lot and all of that you get me so um but I want to talk about, like, we're going to talk about a bit of boxing. We're going to talk about everything, man. Come on, we're going to be talking about Bobby Bill and turning Muslim. <laughs> so we're going, to be talk we're going to be talking about everything, man. But a um, bit of boxing, man. And a bit of, maybe a little bit of UFC here and there as well. But boxing, yeah, I can't lie. I can't lie. I can't lie. It's something that I've been waiting for. I mean, Khan and Kell Brook, bro. That fight there, I see when I first heard about that, I must have been like 16 years old or something. But I'm telling you, see that fight there? That's that and I'm looking forward to. I think it's like February 19th or something. Um, I don't know, man. I thought by the time it comes around, it's going to be dead in the water and that. But boy, it came around and I, I'm still interested. The, the, the fight sold out in like, I don't know, 60 seconds or some shit, bro. Like, so there's definitely interest in it, innit? So obviously the community has come out for that. Um, I'll be real. Let me. I'm not even going to sit on the fence. I grew up thinking if these lot scrap now, Amir Khan would have it. Because Amir Khan was, he was, at a, you get me, at a, at a bigger stage. On the on the bigger stage, he was in the, on the world stage. Whereas Kell Brook was, he was a UK based fighter. Um, 
But you know what, yeah? Like, when you think of their fights, you, you're thinking of the knockouts, the Ame Khan, when he got knocked out. Um, but you got to remember, he's only lost, like, I think, two or three fights, three fights or something like that. Same with Kell Brook. Kell Brook, um, he only lost when it come up against the best where nobody, the people nobody else would want to fight. Um, what's the guy's name? Golovkin. And, bro, who won't... Canelo. Not Canelo beat... Canelo knocked out Ame Khan. Uh, what's that? Errol Spence. Errol Spence and, and, and Kell Brook. Errol Spence is a beast, man. I dare one of these other fighters to step in there with him. Um, but yeah, Kell Brook done it, so you can't knock him for it. So And apart from that, Kell Brook has had a clean record. Um, look at his fight again. He, he beat Sean Porter, I'm pretty sure. If I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong. But yeah, even Sean Porter, bro, like Sean Porter's levels, man. That, that's a, You know what I mean? That, they're big fights and, and he, he come through that. So so back in the day, I'm thinking Ami Khan. But as time moved on, I'll be dead. I've just got to keep it deadly honest. Like now, now, I today, if them man fought, I'd, if I had to put money on one of them, I'm, I'm probably gonna put it on Kilbrook. I'll be deadly honest. It's only because yeah, Khan's inactivity, but not only just his inactivity, it's who he's fought. Do you see what I'm saying? The Canelo fights and all the all of them kind of big fights. I mean, let me okay, Barrera, Malinaji. Algeria, Zab Judah, they were a long time ago. Kell Brook, he he didn't he got his ass whooped just not too long ago by Golovkin and Errol Spence. But but um they're big fights, you know what I'm saying? No, was it Errol Spence? Or Terence Crawford, I don't know, I'm not too sure. He might have fought both of them, I'm not too sure. Um but yeah, if they don't get this fight on, man, do you know what I'm worried about now? I'll be deadly honest. Everyone's like, yeah, yeah, the fight's on, the fight's on. I'm like, cool. But in boxing nowadays, I don't believe the fight's on until the fight's on, until the fight night and they're both walking towards the ring. Because I don't, but boxing's a shambles and the politics of boxing's horrible. But I think if they don't fight this time, do you remember back in the day in school times, yeah, when man used to do that? Um, you know, when, when there's two brothers who, who, who want to fight each other, but they don't. And they're in the middle when the crowd's around them, and then that one evil brother comes through and pushes one into uh, into the other one just to get the fight started. I will be that guy if they don't if they don't fight each other this time around. I say we I say we gang up, circle around them, and push them into each other, and just start a fight. <laughs> that's 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 the best thing that solution I come up with. But um, <laughs> I'm hoping that <laughs> I'm hoping Ami Khan don't pull out, man. Please don't pull out. You know what I mean, my bro? Don't don't do that, man. Because with some injury or something. I heard Kill Brook saying something about it, but let's hope he don't do it. I want to see the fight, man. And I'll, I'll be real. If I do end up putting money on it, it's probably going to be on Kill Brook unless I see something else from now till then. We're going to have to see in the press conference. But yeah, apart from them, man, in boxing, it, it's going off. If we talk about what's been going on since the last show, then obviously we're going to be sitting there for a long time. But what has been going on recently is the talks of Tyson Fury and Dylan White. Man, looking forward to this one. I can't lie. If I'm being deadly honest, I just want to put this out there, innit? You see Dylan White, yeah? Dylan White is the most underrated heavyweight that man's, like, come across in so long, bro. I'll be deadly honest. He does not get his shouts where he should, man, because, come on, man. We ain't even got to talk about it. Go do your research. Go look at how long he's been waiting for this shot, man, for this title shot. Um, look how fast other people are getting it. Um, so, yeah, they've definitely, like, I don't know, the boxing boards or whoever it is, they're definitely holding something against Dylan White. But Dylan White, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you that Dylan White is the only heavyweight that will genuinely get in there with anyone and, and have it, you know what I'm saying, without without asking for something stupid, you know what I mean? 60-40 um, split there, I, I think I think that's a fair fair deal, man. The guy's waited for so long. Tyson Fury knows he's waited. Um, who do I think will win? I don't know. I can never see Tyson Fury getting beat. He's just that guy. But on that, saying that, Dylan White's my favourite heavyweight, man. I'll be real. He wears his heart. You get me? Like, bro, that guy there, he, it leaves everything in the ring, man. And, um, yeah, I think, I, I think I'd think i have to put my money on, on, on Dylan White, man. I'll be deadly honest. Got Dylan White, if you look at his fights that he's had, he had fights that he didn't need to even... Man didn't even need to look at a lot of them fights. Lost to Povetkin, was it Povetkin in it? But again, it's a minor L, man. You know what I mean? He he was willing to get in that ring. He didn't have to, you get me? But he did. But yeah, that's another one I'm looking forward to. Hopefully, Eddie Hearn or whoever it is, Frank, no, who's it? Frank Warren that deals with Tyson Fury and all that. Or what's the other guy's name? Bob Arum. Just get this wrapped up, man. We, we're trying to see this fight, man. We just want we, we You get me? We just... We spectators, man. We just want to see blood. 
That's who we want, you get me? And yeah, Frank, another Frank Warren fight. I just want to big up Hamza Shiraz, bro. Hamza Shiraz. Um, I think he's from East London. But yeah, that guy there, I've been watching him recently for like the last, not not too long. Um, my brother Swagger Man put me on to him, so shout out Swagger Man. Um, yeah, man. He just had a fight with that brother. I'm not too sure Bradley something or something Bradley. I don't want to get his name wrong. But um, controversial fight. They're going to run it back and we see what happens. Big up Hamza Shirez, though, you get me? Um, and we'll just keep watching the journey, man. But, yeah, if you listen, let me know, like, what you lot think and that. Like, tap in, man. Leave the comments and that, you get me? Like, share, subscribe, comment and all of them thing there, bruv. Um, apart from that, you know what? This one here, I'm just going to keep it short, sweet and all of that. Um, because we got a lot of stuff planned coming up. You get me? So, hopefully, man's going to be dropping weekly. And you man, just subscribe, man. Just follow up the thing, man. You get me? Uh, shout out all the sponsors, man. Shout out kalilbobby.co.uk. Go hit them up. Shout out Krebs Corner, no cap. Um, but yeah, man, keep following the journey. Listen, we're going to we're gonna run over like a little bit of football here and there as well. But listen, before I go, I just want to say uh, we're going to be doing we're going to be doing a giveaway. Yeah, um, we're going to do some KB merch and we got a few bits. Yeah, so we get um, what was it? um, we got Crepes Corner, yeah, Crepes Corner as well. We got some no good, um, what was it? No, no cap, no yeah, we got, yeah, we'll be giving away case of these. Listen, we've got a lot of stuff going on, but next week, I'm not too sure what it is. It's either gonna be a case of these, um, yeah, it's either gonna be a case of these or it's gonna be something like a t shirt. We've got a KBT coming up, but so just for this one here, just comment, just like, and subscribe, um. And man, just gonna pick someone out of them. I'm gonna look at who's subscribed from now until next week. So you got a week. Just gonna yeah, look. Generate. Yeah, I'm gonna look through the comments as well. And you know what? Fuck it. We got. You know what? We're, we're gonna do two. We're gonna give away two things. We're gonna give one KB thing, and we're gonna do one either Krebs Corner or No Cap or something. Yeah. Okay, but please. yeah, we'll get. Listen, we're, there's something there. You get me. But um, but what we're gonna do? I just want. We're gonna pick two winners. So just comment and subscribe and all them thing. And man, we'll just pick someone in it. Uh, hit me up at Mutz Music. Uh, Instagram if you you get me want to know anything or you want to go back and forth whatever um, and um, yeah look out for the ne next episodes because man's got some like sick guests coming through bro I can't lie some sick guests and um, yeah man, shout out everyone again see you lot next week and that innit wrap this